Hey guys, welcome back to Tutorial Sunday series, I have favorite episodes. I know, you have seen these kinds of animations everywhere and I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video to learn how it's done. We are going to be going through some fundamentals of text animation within After Effects, how it's done and what goes inside to make whatever you want with your creativity. This is episode 2, how to master text animations in After Effects. Let's get started. Before we dive in, remember these keybinds, pause the video to take notes of them, they will be essential throughout the tutorial. Well, here comes the question, why do we have to do text animations? Well, text animations make your text pop with awesome effects, turning plain words into eye-catching visuals, and it's perfect for grabbing attention and making your content stand out in videos or whatever you're doing, it's useful. Let's start with the basics. First, create a new composition, go to composition, new composition. I'll name mine text animation tutorial, set the resolution to 1080p and the frame rate to 30 frames per second. The duration will be 10 seconds. Once you're done, click OK. Next, let's cover the basic transform properties like anchor point, scale, position, rotation, and opacity. These are essential for animations in After Effects. Select the text tool or press Ctrl plus T type your text and position it in the center. Why do you ask? Because if you don't put it in the center, it's gonna trigger my OCD. Fuck them. Step 3. Advanced Text Animation Options Now, let's explore the Advanced Text Animation Options. These are found under the text layer properties. We have Source Text, Path Options, and More Options. In Source Text, we can change the text content over time. With Path Options, we can animate a text along a path created with a mask and the pen tool. And under more options, we can adjust the anchor point grouping, fill, stroke, and inter character blending. At the top right, the animate button offers settings for per character 3D, including anchor point, position, scale, skew, rotation, opacity, stroke color, and more. We also have scripts and some stuff. Quick shout out to our sponsor, Hitbox Photo AI. You know those times when you find a perfect vector shape, a photo, or an awesome wallpaper online, but when you download it, the quality sucks and it's super noisy. That's where the Hitbox Photo AI comes in clutch. This tool is a game changer. It auto enhances your pics, boosts resolution, fixes blur, and even colorizes with just one click. It's loaded with AI models for general use, denoising, face effects, colorizing, and more. So your photos always look incredible. Plus, you can edit images by removing stuff, changing backgrounds, and creating your own AI styles. Check out Hitbox Photo AI and make your photos look epic today. Alright, it's time to animate with the animator. The animator gives you matte control, letting you mix effects like position, scale, rotation and opacity and also the other controls you get with the animator. I'll show you a nice simple example on how we can do a simple position transform using animator. Click animate, select positions and now we get a slider for our position. And now, you can use the rain selector to set start and end points and play with options for character, words and lines. You can try different shapes of easing depending on your liking and also play with the random slider. And finally, if you do everything properly, you get a nice smooth position transformation. But it wouldn't look as good as you think it would if you skip this and if you don't have the proper guideline and idea on how it works. So, for example, look at this animation. And now look at this one. You see the difference, right? Well, this makes the total difference between a good animation and a bad animation. The graph editor. The graph editor in After Effects is crucial for creating smooth and dynamic text animations. It gives you precise control over keyframes, allowing you to fine tune timing and easing. With custom easing curves, you can make your animations more natural and dynamic. And this, mastering the graph editor, is the key to get a good looking animation. This might seem hard, but this is the main thing, so you gotta learn it properly. Anyways, let's discuss about some per character 3D advantages. And this per character 3D in After Effects lets you animate each letter independently in 3 space, offering a precise control over each letter individually. You can move, rotate, and scale characters separately, adding depth and perspective to your text. It's actually really powerful if you know what I'm saying, you know? You gotta, you gotta experiment with it. Next up, we got tracking. We use the same principles we learned from position transformations and apply them here. 
Following that, we have settings for the line anchor and line spacing, which works similarly. I'll show some examples on screen right now. Then, we have character offset and character value. By keyframing this like we did with the position transformations, we can randomize words to have an offset or a specific value based on our input. And finally, we have blur, which does exactly what it sounds like. It blurs according to the frame animation. And good news, we are done. And this was episode 2, how to master text animations in After Effects. This video is meant to help you with your fundamentals. It's not just a tutorial, it's a guide to make your time using After Effects more enjoyable. And remember, consistency is key, dedication and practice will make you better. So keep experimenting, keep creating, and most importantly, have fun with it. This is me, Farhan, signing out. Goodbye. I wanna share.